What's up everyone, this is Deadbird here, and some of you have been wondering how to reference scene objects in our dialogue option uh, system. So if you see here, we um, can't actually... Let's create a new ob game object, and you can see that we can't um, access this game object in the event system. It gives a little error there. So how can we interact with this game object um, through our event system? So let's uh, start by creating a new script. Let's call it references. We're gonna open that up. We're basically gonna use this as a middleman to gain information in the scene. And we're going to create a singleton of this. So we're going to make public static references instance. And then we're going to create a private, I'm going to exit out of that, private awake. And we're going to say if instance is equal to null. So if instance is equal to nothing, then we're going to make instance equal to this. And cool, now we can uh, reference this instance anywhere we want. And we're going to get a reference to the game object we just made. We'll make a public game object, and we'll call it um, test game object. And we're going to go to our manager and drag in our references here. And we're going to drag in the game object. But let's actually make a visual for this. So maybe we can make a 3D object here. And let's make it so we can actually see it. Alright, so let's drag that in, drag our cube in, and we're going to make this cube disappear when we press a button. So let's go back to our scripts and go to our event behavior, and let's make this first test event um, make the cube disappear. So we're going to go to references, instance, that we just made, and then now we can access that game object we just made. See? Right here. And we can, um, we want to destroy this, so... Destroy. Cool. So now we can destroy the game object that we just made. Even though that um, we're not directly referencing it in our script. So let's go back to our dialogues. And we see here, fortunately all of them look like they're hooked up to the first test event. So that's good. Alright, so let's hit play and see what happens. And we get to our options, what should happen when we hit Tom is that this box should disappear. And it does. So that's how you can um, access scene objects through script. So basically, you're going to create your references here. So let's say you want to like play a sound. Um, you can like do public audio clip or audio source. You can access an audio source here. You can access um, anything you want here. So, access scene objects here. And then you're going to go to your event behavior script. And then now, anything that you put in your references here, you can access it here. Or you can access it anywhere you want, actually. And all you have to do is references.instance. And you can just scroll through and see all the stuff that are in the references. So that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys next time.